Hey guys, welcome back. I'm just up here admiring our new setup. You know, in the last episode we were, you know, kind of changing a bunch of stuff around and moving our place from way off in the distance here to uh, a new location. And I'm really digging this. Now I know we're not quite, uh, you know, optimizing production and stuff and I'm probably building a little bit too tight, but that's fine. So, so far what we've got here, I'll just run through real quick. Uh, we've got our, two of our uh, iron producers. We've mirrored the setup, so these ones are producing, these two uh, constructors produce uh, screws, this one is for plates, this one's for plates, and these two are for rods. Uh, it's really nice because we can, well, right now these are producing 120 and they're only actually smelting in 60, so we can take these off this side and add smelters, which we're probably going to do today. Um, you can see this one here is producing just straight iron ore, which runs down to our steel, which is down here, I'll show you in a second. And this is just our temporary uh, storage system. Now, this we're gonna change today, and we're also gonna change our screw production today because that's our biggest hang up right now. The problem with it is in the, since the update, uh, like the early access release, um, the milestones have changed a little bit. So we can't get our next tier of belts until we've completed motors, which is our biggest thing right now. And that'll help us because we're producing more than uh, you know a single belt can handle. And instead of adding more power and more constructors, more lines, you know, to fill it, we're actually having one of these down ramped right now. So this one's only producing 30. This one produces 90, so it fills 120 belt. But that's where our struggle is. But we're gonna change that right now. You know, I know how impractical this is, but I really like having <laughs> having our little hub. Uh, come down here like our system uh, I guess you call it the bus sorry um, come down here and split and do all this stuff and have like our advanced smelting area our processing area down here I know it's kind of a spaghetti mess and nonsense that comes down but I think it's really cool having to use the landscape to kind of build your production and we have like this whole mountain is nothing on it yet there's a spot up here uh, we've got all kinds of valley over here anyways so what I want to do right now, the biggest problem we're having is uh, screw production because we can't keep up with these two these two systems. This one is producing our rotors, which we need for our stators, which we need for our motors. Uh, we're producing a lot, well, not a lot, but we have a bunch, but these are only running at about 50%, and that's because of the screw production. This one is also doing um, our reinforced plates with the same problem. So what we need to do... Um, we found a few hard drives when I was exploring last episode, and I've unlocked a couple of recipes. And now the one is, I'll just show you here at the back of the truck. The one is, so we have our reinforced plates, and we have our stitched iron plate. This is an alternate version. So what this does is this lets us use iron plates and wire to produce three, as opposed to 24 screws and four plates to produce one. So this will let us actually use our copper production for something more than just wire and cables. So we're going to switch that today, which will free up this assembler because I'm going to do an assembler up top there for those two items, which will then make this free for our modular frames, which we need. So this is going to take reinforced plate and rods, which will send reinforced plate from the top down and we'll be good to go. So for the moment, let's switch back. Let me just, might as well keep it going. Um, We'll be able to send those down and this line will then not be needed and it'll go more into here. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to switch our copper or our steel production. Right now we're using both ores, which is fine, but there's no point in having one line that all it does is steel. When if I go back to here again, sorry, one line that does all it does is ore. If I go back here again, we have an alternate for steel ingots. Now steel ingots are going to use coal, same as before, but they're going to use iron ingots, three, and they'll produce six. Whereas before we're using three and three to produce two. So it uses a little bit more coal, which no big deal, and it produces more faster. So it seems dumb not to do that. So I'm going to switch these two things really fast and we'll get right back into it. So for now what we're going to do is we're actually going to rip this out. We're gonna take all of this. I'm really gonna do that just because I'm gonna probably end up using this for something else after this space, uh, or that node, whatever. But there's no point in having it here at the moment. So I took all that out because we're backed right up and we need to get rid of this. 
So our steel production is going to go until this is until this is empty, and we're going to pump our new lines into here. Now, like I was saying a minute ago, we can add two smelters off of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to straight put two smelters right here, pump them into that line, and it's now going to be our our new system for steel. You know, I really got to say, copper production is absolutely crazy. Um, we've got all these machines running and producing quite a bit and we're still not even producing to the capacity of one ori uh, original um, miner, like the Mark 1 miner. And it's crazy because oh, because it's on a pure node it produces 120. These ones are taking in 30 each to smelt into ingots. So there's 60 here and 90, so there's still an extra potential of 30 to come out of there. Um, but this is producing uh, ingots into here for wires. So this is taking in 15, which is one smelter, right? 15 and 15. And same with over here. Uh, this works out pretty nice, actually. So what we're going to do, this is going to produce um, wire. Well, they all are. But it's 15, 15, and 15. And we're going to have to overclock this, I think. But it's 15, 15, and 15. And it produces um, 45 each. So that works out to what, 135? And 135 is the perfect number because um, I have this merged and then split again. And what it's doing is it's going into here for cables, which takes 30 and 30. And I have the third one, that was a weird lag spike. The third one goes this way, which produces, takes all the extra, which should be 75. And it's going to come over here, and somewhere back in this little area, we're going to put an assembler that comes off of this iron miner, which is producing our iron ingots. And that assembler is going to produce, let's just throw one down so I can show and make sure my numbers are correct. So it's going to take in and make the alternate stitched iron plates, which is just three reinforced iron plates. And this is going to take in... 75 which is our perfect amount of wire so that system over there should be using the exact amount of wire that we're requiring which is pretty awesome um and then we're also putting wire out here at a not a good amount but a steady amount which is going to go down to our um steel production which is where we're going to put stators right now okay so <clears throat> i have to put a, a temporary system in here because we need our wire to come from it comes from that top one right there and I needed to come over here and I needed to do that before I can switch this system our steel to our plate system because we're back right up uh, both of these are completely full and it's crazy so what I'm gonna do I, I think initially like or eventually sorry I want to bring all of these like this bus system of all these um, products down like keep it coming down but I think I'm going to do it on the outside, just because it looks a lot cooler. We can bring it around. It's kind of the same thing how I've done this belt going up. We can just bring it on the side. I think that looks super cool, kind of utilizing that. But that means we have to do a little bit of playing around later. So for now, I am going to... If I can... This might be... This might look like crap, but we're going to try it. Bring this down. Yeah, it does work, okay. So this one is going to end up being our stators, which is pipe and wire. And now we have to somehow bring our wire down. Hmm. So again, for now, this can be just temporary. But what we're going to do, uh, I'm going to put, where are they? Let's toss this, number four. And we might need to use... I think we're going to use our, our good belts here. Yeah, let's try that. So, we need to put this... I'm just doing this, like I said, just straight for now. Because why not? And of course, it's not going to snap good, but that's fine. We'll go there. And it's a little bit out of an angle. Let's go... So the time when snapping is kind of a pain because I I like when it snaps, but it also sucks. Let's 
see if we can do this. This might be way too far away. Yes. Let's try again. Let's just go right here for now. Yeah, on the wrong side of the pole, though. And from there to here. This will come out. I just need to get this producing so we can get rid of some of our steel. And, you know, get ready for our our next setup, which is going to be motors. And from there to there. And it is super ugly. But it works. Oh, I guess this needs power first. Let's uh, drop you there. And we need some storage. So again, I'm looking forward to the next uh, tier of stuff because then our storage will be larger. Hmm. Not knowing where to put some stuff is going to be a pain. I don't know if I have enough concrete. I don't. I'm going to get some more concrete and build this platform a little bit more. And then we'll put our storage. And then we will be good. And if I put an assembler here. Let's go right there. Let's go with our belt from he here. Yeah, right through the rock. I'm not caring at the moment. This way. Let's go from here to storage. Oh, this is a mess. But I don't care. I wonder if we just go right here. What would happen? What would happen? Oh yeah, okay. We'll attach it there. You're gonna be that guy. Oh, this might not work the way I was hoping for it to. And if we turn this on, we should be able to go motor. Let's add... Well, let's add a power line right here. And from you, we will go... Ooh. Uh, let's go like this. Perfect. And... Now we're really high up. Let's, uh, where do I want to store these? This is the last in line right now, so I just need to, I just need to get stuck. Uh, this is the most advanced thing we are creating at the moment. Yeah, our truck can't get through there still. I'm going to have to figure that out or move this somewhere else. But for the moment, let's just store stuff. Until I know what's next, I'm not going to go too crazy. And we'll just go from here. All right, uh, I think we can just get this stuff producing now and we should be able to get our next milestones. Uh, I need a conveyor pole. One thing about it, you can always use conveyor poles if you need to put them on that spot. Sometimes they don't work. If you just do like, the, if you just, what the, if you just let it be placed where it wants. But you can go like this, place it on the on the crack. Uh, don't stand in the belt, or it will trap you. Hmm. Very weird. And from you to you. And from you to you. This gives us alternate plates, I believe. Oh, what did I just do? Oh, I'm dumb. So I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to bring this wire 
here and put our assembler right here and we'll bring our um what do you call it our plates this way i should have just made this in a separate area completely but you know what it's our first factory there will be more and they this you know it's a good learning experience I don't want to get too close to this node because we might need this eventually. So, assembler, go right. Right about there. Whoa. And I think we should be able to break this one. All oh, this could work out just perfectly. Okay, so I got plates going. Let's get our merger out. And we'll send. Where's the front? Come on. Uh, should be good right about there, I think. Let's get our... Click the right button. Let's get our... Conveyors out. One. Two. So these are outputting. What are they outputting? I think they're outputting 15 each. So we just need a regular belt. Hopefully we can upgrade that eventually. And we're just going to use the same stuff we've had before. Should go to there. <laughs> this won't look the prettiest, but it's going to function, and that's what matters. <laughs> what an absolute mess of awesomeness. <laughs> this is crazy. Uh, I don't even know what to think of this. You know what? As long as we're having fun, right? That's what matters. Launch! And finally, we are about to finish this. Here we go. I'm excited. Oh. Oh. Seal. This is always exciting. This is the coolest thing ever. I hope we get to go to space. That'd be fun. Like if this was just part of the part of the uh, the main part of the game. This is still a tutorial, and you have to go to space. <laughs> Okay, so that's all we're going to do for early access. Perfect. What else does it say? Okay, so now we know whatever we're at next is going to be our our uh, our end for early access. So let's rip back up here and check out what we've unlocked. So while I'm running back up here to check this stuff out, I have decided, obviously, like I said before, this stuff was, a lot, was mostly temporary just to get going. But this is our biggest uh, holdup still. And we're gonna have to make like an outpost somewhere to ramp up this production because we're just we just can't do enough. I mean, at eight a minute, it's just not enough. We're gonna have to make a whole system dedicated to just that because I'm assuming we're gonna have like a large amount of the modular frames like in the future, and we're gonna have to figure that out. So that will require obviously a. Uh, iron node, a copper node, some self power, maybe some trucks. We'll have to figure this out. Alright, so what do we got unlocked here? Let's see. Tier 5. Oil. Interesting. Oil pump, oil refinery. Oh, we got new fuel. That's cool. Manufacturer. Three or four parts into one. That's crazy. A new truck. Interesting. And a computer. That sounds complicated. Alright, tier six. What do we got, tier six? Expanded power. Ooh, mark four. 450 per minute. That's crazy. I bet you this thing's huge. <laughs> Jetpacks. That's kind of cool. And, oh, finally the gas mask. Okay. So, I don't know what we want to do for our end goal here. Because, obviously, we can't get to um, 
the next level of space elevator yet. But the first thing we're going to have to do is probably start with uh, oil refinery so we can scan it. I'll actually select that and we'll, uh, I think at the beginning of the next episode, we will start looking for oil. So uh, I want to thank you guys for hanging out. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you hit that like button. And hopefully in the next one, we get a bunch more stuff done. And we can maybe build this space a little bit nicer, a little bit uh, more efficient and stuff. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for hanging out. And I uh, will see you guys in the next one.